And it's trying to clear my mind. You know, I want to keep the movie playing all the time. So I try to quiet it. And something I got into with probably within the last year, you know, the guys have been up here uh, to the Trends Research Institute. And I have a wall of the ancestors, my my grandparents, my great grandmother, uh, my parents, aunts and uncles. And I'm looking at it one day and I said to myself, all I am are their DNA. I didn't get here on my own. This isn't my, I mean, I just, you know, I just didn't pop out of there, you know, it's all of this DNA. So I've got into the custom of every day and continually thinking throughout the day of thanking them for all that they've given me and all that they've taught me. Because all I am, as I see it, again, not speaking for anyone, is parts of them and a respect for the elders. For all they, I remember my father, man, so rest in peace, I'd be complaining about something. And he said, you know, you're always you know, bitching and moaning about something. He said, I'm gonna tell you something. I do a hundred times more for you than my dad did for me. And it was true, and they came here as immigrants. They lost everything, they were up, upstate New York, they came as farmers and they got wiped out in floods. And you know, they, they had to separate the kids and they grew up with aunts and uncles, you know. So I appreciate, and now as I become an adult, I understand more and more what they did give me. And, and as you mentioned, I'm not close to the guy that I was when I was in my, you know, growing up. Yeah, I look back at the things that I did, oh my God, I did that, you know. So to me, it's about leaving this life on a high note. And the high note is simply being true to yourself. You know the truth within, everybody does. Everybody knows it. You could BS all you want. Man, when the lights go out and if you have time to think of that last thought, you're gonna know what truth or lies are. And that's it, and, and it's an inside job to change the world and fix it. We've gotta change it one person at a time. And we've got to have respect for ourselves, as you've said, Gerald. Uh, finish up with talking about having respect for yourself. And then I want to come back and get into all the war news and economic news with you. Well, you know, it's dignity and respect takes a lot of levels to it. You know, I go out every time I go out, you know, I look around and I can't believe what the people have come to look like. And it's a reflection on, on you know, who they are and what they become, what they eat, what they think, what they watch. And, but it, it really goes much deeper than that as I think about it. And again, this is only the way I see it. It's about dignity, courage, and self-respect. Because when you have those elements, you don't take anybody else's baloney. You don't, if you look up to your political leader, as I see it, you're looking down to yourself. So why would anybody want to do that? So yeah, as I'm, you know, it's like the headlines. All of a sudden, and all of a sudden, this is big news. This is today's New York Times. The world's going to crap, right? We got all these problems going on. Front page story. Before coming out, a hard time coming up. And this is about this Michael Sam who announced that he's gay. What the hell do I care? The gays have been out of the closet now for how long? I got loads of gay friends. Who cares? And then I hear Michelle Obama say that this should be an inspiration to us. Hey man, that's his trip. I don't care who he's with, who's doing what to who. That's not my business, I don't care. And number two, it's not an inspiration for me. It's his trip. And number three, Michelle, or do I have to call her Her Highness? Oh, I'm sick of them making her a movie star and all these other politicians and Hillary. The, the, well, like you said, politics is show business for ugly people. I'm sick of them. Well, not only that, it's her, I say Her Highness because we heard Obama say basically it's good to be king. You know, I could do anything that I want. I saw it on your website. And by the way, great article by Kurt Nemo on what's going on in Ukraine, and i like to talk about that later. But when I say, you know, these people, then the hypocrisy after her making all the news about how great this is, and again, you do it, do you Oh, want. I agree. I mean, is Obama auditioning for a Mel Brooks movie to say it's good for be king, and they're like catapulting people? Yeah, now the thing is, in 2008, he said he was against gay marriages. How's that for hypocrisy? It's all just politics. It's a bunch of people that have no rudder. They don't stand for anything.
And more and more in my life, even I disagree with somebody, if they're consistent, I admire it. Because, I mean, you got to have consistency. We'll be right back with Gerald Salente to get into all this and more. Ukraine, the economy, stay with us. The challenge, creating delicious GMO-free foods with a 25-year shelf life. The solution, Numana Foods, a pioneer in healthy, storable foods. Our meals are GMO and gluten-free, contain no MSG aspartame or high fructose corn syrup, and we never use chemicals or preservatives. Just good, healthy food at great prices. Call us today at 888-597-0775 or visit GMOFreeFoodStorage.com. That's GMOFreeFoodStorage.com. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. The number one secret to having great health and long life is having high levels of glutathione. This master antioxidant is required by your body to stop free radicals, keep cells young, remove chemical and heavy metal toxins, support immunity, support liver functions, stop inflammation, and much more. The results of optimal levels of glutathione in your body are more mental and physical energy, stronger immune system, greater endurance, and more. Do you know the number one secret superfood that helps increase your glutathione levels up to 64 percent or more it's unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows this health food is amazing in its ability to do so much for virtually everyone introducing one world whey an industry first unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows call 888-988-3325 that's 888-988-3325 or visit oneworldway.com that's one world w-h-e-y dot com Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. Americans have been turned into sheep on average. They think compliance is freedom. And a nation of sheep will be ruled by what? Did Thomas Jefferson say? Wolves. Gerald Salente is our guest. We'll uh, take some of your phone calls all over the map for him coming up. 800-259-9231. Please address your questions to Gerald. 800-259-9231. Uh, Gerald, going back to you in the short segment, long segment coming up. Obviously, the craziness is getting out of control. I want to get into Ukraine, the economy, all of it. But stuff's so crazy now, I can't even believe it. And if I'm becoming almost passe on so many fronts, 
but then no one gets in trouble. The fake bin Laden raids, Cy Hirsch exposes it, the, 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 the stock market rigged for insiders, everything rigged, uh, the government funding Al-Qaeda, the scams, the TSA, whistleblowers that it's all a fraud, they're making fun of everybody's genitals ripping diapers off cancer patients. I mean, this is like we've let crazy people run things. This happens in history. How mad will we get before something changes? I mean, will it be Caligula marrying his horse, Nero, you know, dressing up like a vampire, eating kids on the White House lawn? I mean, I mean, how far is this going to go before it implodes? You know, I don't know. And, and I'm wondering where the people are. How come they're not standing up and speaking out? And I just keep thinking, you know, and it, you know, people say to me, well, you know, we've been dumbed down. Yeah, fine, we've been dumbed down, but, you know, look what happened over there in, in World War II. I mean, the Germans weren't dumbed down. In the 1930s, they were at the height of Western civilization, culturally, philosophically. Exactly, the greatest pinnacle to that time was Germany, you're right. Yeah. So it's not a dumbing down process. It's something greater than that. And I don't know what it is, but I can see where this is going. You know, look what they did with this Olympics. I mean, here, you know what this is? No. It's a toothpaste bar. Oh, yeah. It's a you never saw one before? Oh. <laughs> can you imagine they made that crap up? There's toothpaste bombs? They're creating mentally illness, total mental illness, where everyone's scared of everything. Exactly. And what they did is the Americans said, if you get on those planes going to Sochi, watch out for them toothpaste bombs. And all the major media repeated it. And you're talking about sick people? Only, an, only a psychotic person could make up something like a toothpaste bomb. Well, statistically, it's more dangerous to drive to work, even if terror attacks are real. We stop being cowards. Americans never, oh, I'm going to give up all my rights because somebody might kill somebody sometime. I mean, it's ridiculous. I know. But, you're, you're, but to go back onto your question, they come out with the most ludicrous crap, and people believe it. Now, when they're going to come out with Tampex missiles next, I mean, anything, they'll make it up. And, and, and the people keep buying it. So I don't know what's going on and why. And it goes back to the beginning of what we're talking about. Courage, dignity, and respect. And until people get, and it's the products that you sell. Everything that you have on your, on, that you're offering to the people are going to help them physically, emotionally, and mentally. And those are the ways you, to me, you have to build yourself. Because when you do, you see right through this stuff. Who could believe this? Who could believe what they're telling us? And, and it's one lie after Well, it's like you said about Obama. We've got that clip or two days ago with the French president, knowing the cameras were on him, saying, I can do whatever I want as president. Uh, you know, it's good to be king. Uh, he joins Mel Brooks. Here it is. All right, we're breaking the protocol here. That's all right. That's the thing about being president. I can, I can do whatever I want. Obviously, Gerald, the establishment wants to set the president where we have a unitary executive. What do you make of all the power grabbing we're seeing? Well, you've heard me say this when, when the panic of 08 began. It's the merger of state and corporate powers. It's called fascism. And if anybody doesn't believe it, look at the way they treat us. I, you know, again, we're going to be talking about what's going on in Ukraine later. But you know, all of these people complaining that, you know, they bug the phones over there. Look what they're doing to us. They're listening to everything that we're doing. They're watching us. I don't need some cat in a black robe with a bad attitude calling himself judge to interpret the Fourth Amendment for me. How dare I them bug the U.S. ambassador who's trying to overthrow their country? I mean, it's incredible. There's total spying. You're supposed to spy on foreign agents in your country. You're not supposed to spy on the general public. Go ahead. No, and, and then when you read the comments coming from other people in the EU complaining about it, and they say things like, how dare that they, they, they spy on high-level oh diplomats. Yeah, you don't spy on them. Just spy on us. We're just the stupid people. Well, stay there. I want to go to Ukraine. What else do you want to cover when we come back? I'm going to give you the floor, Gerald Salente. 
Oh, the economy, the economy. Yellen. Yellen and, and other trends and where you see it going. And then some phone calls. We'll be right back with Gerald Salente. TrendsResearch.com, TrendsJournal.com. Our sites are PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. Follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. We're on the march. The Empire.